Greetings! The palette I'll be reviewing today is Dillor Rowney's Aquafine Mini Travel Set. It comes in a small tin with 10 colors and a small travel brush. It has a thumb ring on the bottom. The outside of the tin has a print, but the inside is enameled white. Over the colors, there's a plastic insert that serves to identify the colors. The mini brush is a size 4 Aquafine brush. It's a round brush with synthetic hairs. The paints come in a thin plastic tray with a space for the brush. It also has a removable extra tray with three spaces or a single larger space when you remove the tray. This set is relatively easy to find. I've seen it on Amazon, but I got mine from Jackson's. I like to be thorough, so I took the whole thing apart. I ended up removing the plastic overlay and the sticky tape, gluing the plastic tray to the tin. At first glance, I really like the size of this tin. It's a bit bigger than an Altoids tin, but much thinner. It's definitely the thinner travel set I own. The tray is made of a thin plastic similar to the trays in the Koi travel sets or Sennelier's Aquamini set. The reason why I got this set is because a nice person suggested that I try this set in the comments of a previous video. I checked it out and the paint set is inexpensive, small, and it comes with a nice tin. Also, it doesn't have black or white paints, at least not in the 10 colors set. I was curious to try these paints out. The colors in this set are Lemon Yellow, Cadmium Yellow Hue, Vermilion Hue, Alizarin Crimson, Prussian Blue, Ultramarine, Leaf Green, Viridian Hue, Yellow Ochre, and Burnt Sienna. Out of the 10 colors, 6 of them are single pigment, and 4 colors have to pigments. The color selection is very nice for such a small set. It has cool and warm primary colors, cool and warm greens, and two nice earth tones. Pigmentation seems pretty even through all the paints. To note that the ultramarine doesn't granulate a lot, if it even does granulate. The color mixes available through these colors are good, with a light lack of range in the pinks. The colors are not overly vivid, that can possibly make them a good choice for urban sketching. Thank you. 
while doing this shake test the only reason the tray fell out is because if you remember I removed the sticky tape that was holding it glued to the tin. One thing I love of this tray is that for once it's made to lock the brush in space. That way carrying the set around won't cause the brush tip to repeatedly smash into the tray. I wanted to see if half pans would fit in this tin. It'd be possible to remove the tray, pop out the paint cakes and transfer them to empty half pans. You could then glue them in or put a magnet under the pans. I tried with some of my magneted pans and it worked really well. It's possible to cram in a lot more colors that way but the small brush wouldn't fit in the tin anymore. Dillo Rowney is an English company. The website says that all their paints are made in Bracknell, Berkshire, and all the brushes are made in La Romana in the Dominican Republic. I did two test drawings for this set. The first one is a simple warm-up sketch based on a photo from the recipe book again. I used a regular drinking straw to extend the handle of the mini brush so it's easier to use.
The second drawing I did is a sketch of a group of people on a Japanese street, reference from one of my books. Overall, it's a very nice little set, very affordable and well thought out, I believe. It's very minimal in terms of the space it occupies and I can easily imagine myself carrying it around. I wouldn't use it for art to be hung on the walls, since most of these colors have a very average permanency rating. That aside, it's a very good set and it's definitely something I can recommend to people who want to try out this kind of small transportable set 
of watercolors. That's it for my review. If you have any questions, feel free to ask in the comments below. I hope you have a great time playing with your paints and see you soon. Bye bye.